Grade 4 Math, number 21, Multi-Step Multiplication Problems. Okay, well, the first thing we've got is a theater. And you can see all the seats here. Some of them are colored red. Here's the stage. Here's the aisles for people to walk in. And here's the lobby. There's the ticket booth and the doors to go outside. So this is the seating chart for the local theater. There's ten rows of seats. There's five and then five, with 16 seats going across this way. The red seats have been reserved for the families of the actors. So how many seats are left for the rest of the public to come in and watch the show? So how would we solve this? Well, we know there's 10 rows, and we know there's 16 seats in each row. So the first thing we need to do is multiply the 10 times the 16. So here's the 10 times the 16. There's 10 rows going this way, 16 seats going this way. Then we need to find out how many of the seats are red. Well, here's 5 going this way, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 going this way. So we have 5 times 8. So 5 times 8 are red, and 10 times 16 are the whole theater. So the first thing we're going to do is the 10 times 16, which is 160. That's the total seats. Then we're going to take the number of the seats that are reserved for family, the 5 times 8, which is 40, and we're going to subtract this amount from the big amount. Okay? So 160 seats minus the 40 red seats for the family leaves 120 seats for the public. You see how we did that? That wasn't that hard, was it? No. We did the big multiplication, and then we subtracted from that. Okay? Let's try this one. Here's a street, and there's some houses, and there's backyards and front yards. Okay? Emma raked leaves for her neighbors to earn money. She charged $10 to rake a front yard and $12 to rake a backyard. If she had six neighbors, what is the most money she could earn? So what's the most money she could earn if she charges $10 for a front and $12 for a back? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have our information. $10 to rake a front, $12 to rake a back. And she has six neighbors, so that's six front yards and six backyards. We want to find the most money she could make, which means she would have to do all the neighbors' yards front and back, right? So six front yards times $10 is $60. And six backyards for $12 each is $72. We add those two together, and if Emma can get her neighbors to hire her to do all the yards front and back, she could make, at most, $132. See? We added, we multiplied the amount of the fronts, and we multiplied the amount of the backs, and then we added it together. See? All right. Look at this empty shelf. Tala owns a grocery store. She put all the boxes of cereal on three shelves. One, two, three. Each shelf can hold 125 boxes of cereal. If 435 boxes were delivered from the cereal company, can all the boxes fit on the shelves? Can she fit 435 boxes on here? Well, 125 boxes on three shelves is 375 boxes. So no. 435 boxes won't fit. She only has room for 375. So if not, how many boxes need to be stored in the back of her store in the storage room? So we take the 435 and we subtract the total that she put on the shelves, the 375. 5 take away 5 is 0. 3 take away 7 we can't, so we borrow 1 from the hundreds place. It becomes a 3 and we give it to the tens place. 13 take away 7 is 6. So she needs to store 60 boxes of cereal in the back 
until she could sell some of the ones that are on the shelf and make room and then she could bring them out and fill her shelves. Do you see how we did the multi-step problems? Do you see how we had to solve one part before we could solve another part? You could do it. It's not that hard. Just keep your information in order and make sure the information is important or not. Sometimes in word problems they put in information that you don't even need and it'll trick you. And sometimes drawing a picture can help. I'll see you next video. Keep up the good work. Bye.